Hey, my name is Matt. Welcome to Bless Your Rank, and today we are ranking fast food sweet teas. We ask our Facebook supporters which sweet teas from fast food restaurants are their favorite, and then we are taking that group and we are ranking those because there are a gazillion fast food restaurants out there, and if they're basically if you're a fast food restaurant in the South, you have to serve sweet tea. That's in the U.S. Constitution. Uh, I didn't make that rule. These are technically the best of the best, and we're going to determine who is the best of the best of the best. It's a lot of bestesses. I'm jacked up and I haven't had any sugar yet. That's the thing. You, I'm here right now. I can't imagine where I'm gonna be at after seven sweet teas in the bathroom, more than likely. Competitor number one, Chick-fil-A. I've had this a few times. Uh, Chick-fil-A's uh, best drink though is the lemonade. Sure, that is some delicious freshly squeezed lemonade. <sighs> so I'm picking up uh, strong hints of tea and it's cold. So it means it's iced tea. That's good. It's definitely uh, got a lot of sugar in it, as sweet tea should, uh, but it's not so much that it killed the tea flavor, because that's the thing, sometimes you get a hold of sweet tea and they've dumped four bags of sugar into it and it just comp that's all you taste. But this, this is a good ratio of tea to, um, to sugar. And we don't give Chick-fil-A a lot of credit on this, but their ice is not bad. They, they got little pebble ice, but it's not super small pebble ice. Uh, but it's not giant chunk ice, which I don't like. That just takes up more real estate in your cup, and that means more ice, less tea. Nobody wins. This is the Lord's tea. This was anointed before it was served to me. It's not the best tasting tea I've ever had. For fast food sweet tea, that's pretty darn good. That's not grandma's tea. That is church potluck tea. Well, right now, Chick-fil-A is the best tea that I've had today. So congratulations, Chick-fil-A. You did it. Way to go. We air this on Sunday. They're not even watching right now. They're, I don't know what they do on Sundays. Competitor number two is a little fast food place called Sonic. It's America's drive-in, or so they say. They're kind of the only drive-in. Out of the gate, I can go ahead and tell you that Sonic is going to have the best ice of all the competitors. This is pebble ice to the next level. It's tiny pebbles. It's so perfectly small and pebbly. This is good. This is a whole experience with Sonic too. Don't you just love going like pulling into a spot, pressing that red button, watching it light up, hoping that it's happy hour and your drink's gonna be half off? This is some very plain tea. And I'm also getting like a hint of like raspberry or something. That's not normal. That shouldn't be in tea. This definitely tastes like there's just one giant machine that makes all of the 10,000 drink combinations that they have, and someone just ordered something raspberry flavored before this tea. I mean, it's drinkable, for sure. It could use a little more sugar and a lot less uh, hint of raspberry. I'm disappointed, Sonic, because Sonic Ice automatically moves it up to the front of the pack here. This, uh, this is definitely not better than Chick-fil-A. Is raspberry a real thing? Do you, do you get raspberries like from a raspberry tree or something, or is that a made up? I don't know. I'm just, I'll take your word for it, raspberries. Maybe you're real. And if you're real, get out of my tea. There you go. Contestant number three, Bojangles. Bow time. Thank you, Mysterious Hand. Bojangles, as far as I'm aware, is the only competitor today that you could buy a gallon of tea from that restaurant. So they take tea pretty seriously. You get uh, three dozen pieces of chicken, two dozen biscuits, and a half gallon of tea. I call it my lunch special, but I think it's like the family pack or something, or just a really hungry mat pack. This is a big old chunk ice. It's Church Fellowship Hall ice right here. People, some people say ice is ice. Uh, those people are idiots. It's probably got the right amount of sugar. Uh, it just needs more tea flavor into it. It's got, I'm tasting basically like sugar water right now. I don't know if they make tea fresh at Bojangles or not. This is a little weaker than I'd like. Again, I mean, it's famous chicken and biscuits. They make no mention of their tea. It's just not doing it for me. And it makes me sad. Cue sad music. The fact that Bojangles is most certainly not going to win this contest because I'm going to say that they're even behind Sonic. Their tea is, is not really better and they certainly don't have good ice. I'm not alone that when you finish your drink, sometimes you want to chew on your ice. This is not good ice chewing. This makes your mouth too cold. Sometimes you can't even get it in your mouth. It's too big. See? Oh, Jangles, you let me down. You also made my mouth really, really cold. I'm sure we'll have worse tea today, but so far, this is not the best. It's not even close to the best. I'm gonna be honest right now, this is kind of where we're at. Palate cleanser. 
Competitor number four, the Golden Arches, Mickey D's. Pow. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. This cup should be styrofoam. Sorry, sweating so much. That's the thing. This, this is a whole other thing right here, and I can't grade them on it because I'm because I've seen McDonald's with styrofoam cups before, so I'm, I think they still have them. But if you're in the South, you really need to have styrofoam cups. This thing will be sweating like me, basically. From the moment they hand it to you in the drive-thru, it's already just dripping. That's what keeps the ice in there. It's what keeps your tea cold. That's what keeps it from just a puddle of water happening in your cup holder. I can already tell from the smell. This has got like the Chick-fil-A smell. Like you smell the tea. That's good. I don't want to smell styrofoam. Raspberries. Tea. That's good. That's a good sign. I have already have high hopes for this. And I know that there is a very uh, devout following of McDonald's sweet tea fans out there. Uh, the only people who get excited about McDonald's are seven-year-olds. As an adult, there's not much to, to love about McDonald's. It's just kind of there, and sometimes they get your order right. Also, the ice at McDonald's, I was expecting. I, in my mind, for some reason, I was remembering McDonald's having these giant chunks of ice like Bojangles has here, but it's not. It's like a thinner, crunchier version of that. Pinky's out. That's pretty good tea. I'm not gonna lie. This is way better than I thought it would be. Oh man, this is pretty solid tea. And I'm kind of mad at myself for liking something from McDonald's. Also, this is the giant word bacon on the side gets me excited too for no reason at all. It could use this kind of blasphemy, a little less sugar, but, and I think that's a common complaint I hear with McDonald's tea, you either love it or you think it has too much sugar in it. I'm in that camp of I think you could probably use a little less sugar, but they're not skimping on the tea. It's all there. There's a good ratio of water to tea flavor. And I'm a fan of this ice. This. Just a crunchable ice. You hearing that crunch? I chipped a tooth. And I feel like I am going to destroy the credibility of Bless Your Rank by placing McDonald's pretty high in literally anything. This tea was made with love. Ice, pretty good. Not Sonic level ice. It's the only thing probably gonna keep Sonic right here. Tea, very good. Not Chick-fil-A good. Definitely made with love, but maybe not prayed over. So I'm going to say that McDonald's tea is currently in second place. Contestant number five comes from Pop Eyes. I thought I could make it rhyme, but that doesn't rhyme. I just thought about Popeye's fried chicken and I got excited, but then I remember I'm not eating chicken today. That's, I got sad again. Put some pop in your pocket. What? Take a look at that ice there. It's somewhere in between Bojangles and McDonald's ice. You would be a real shame if someone gave us unsweet for this uh, test. This is sweet, I can tell. Is it weird that I taste Cajun flavor in my tea? I don't mind it. I mean, it's not bad. And I'm not lying to you right now that when I taste this, I taste Popeye's chicken. I'm pretty sure that's not in my brain. And it's not a bad thing. And now I'm starting to wonder if fried chicken flavored sweet tea should be a thing. I'm just thinking about chicken. Sorry. Uh, this is good tea. It's not watered down, which is important. It can probably use just a little bit more sugar. The ratio is not that far off. Tea flavor is good. The little hint of chicken is uh, is delicious. If you are a vegan, I would suggest you not drink this. You're probably breaking whatever oath you've made to your vegan god. You know what? I'm having a really hard time deciding if this should be a, like where it should fall here with these two. It's definitely not in this pack. I'm probably gonna come down in the ice. Mmm. Yeah. This is currently in third place. But this has got chicken flavor. Six. Competitor number six, Zaxby's. Zaxby's. This is fun to say. Zaxby's. Zatarans. <laughs> Zaxby's. <laughs> Anything with a Z is fun to say. Xylophone. That's an X. Again, with the not styrofoam cup, it's just, this bothers me. And there are some Zaxby's ice fans out there. Look at that ice. It's like the same pebble type as Sonic. It's less uniform in shape. But as far as like general size, and I'm sure crunchiness is gonna be on par. Smell, it's kind of, it's like weak. I mean, I can smell the tea, which is a lot more than I can say for the other competitors. Crunchiness of the ice, so good. Volume all the way up. Matte ice ASMRs.
mouth's getting real cold now. Woo! This is close, but I'm gonna say based on ice and just that I know that this is something I rarely do on blood stream. But I'm gonna give Zaxby's a little bit of a pass here because whatever they have brewed this tea with is some good tea. And I know that the ratio was just tweaked just a little bit better. It would be in first place, but it's not. And so I will settle for it being in third place. There's a lot of liquid on this table. Our final competitor, number seven, what a burger. This is actually uh, a small at Whataburger, in case you didn't know. A large sweet tea at Whataburger is a bucket for scale, and I have a giant head. This is a giant tea. Look at that. It's heavy too, like a human head. It's full of tea. God, it makes it, it's like, that's a small earthquake. Ice? This is Bojangles ice in here. This is some Bojangles ice. Well, this is the first time I've ever been disappointed with Whataburger. That is some big ice. To be fair, Texas doesn't really know how to do anything small. Smelling the tea? Wait, oh no. That smells sour. Oh no. What a burger. What have you done? I don't want to drink it now. Y'all know you get a hold of some bad sweet tea and it, turn, it turns sour. Sweet tea can turn sour. They made this four days ago. All right, down the hatch. Oh, oh, oh. I feel like I've just been like cheated on or something. Like this, this is heartbreaking. I love Whataburger. Turn the cameras off. Uh, my nose did not deceive me. This tea is sour, but this is inexcusable. I don't have to taste this anymore, do I? I'm having like a crisis right now. I'm so mad. I'm so mad and I'm sad. There's just so many emotions right now. Well, this is most certainly in last place. I would expect that from a Burger King or a Taco Bell. That's why they're not even up here. In conclusion, what we've learned today, that Chick-fil-A has the absolute best sweet tea of all the fast food restaurants. And really, when you think about it, that kind of makes sense. I feel pretty good about this. And now I'm going to do something that should have been done a long time ago. And that's make the ultimate sweet tea with Chick-fil-A tea and Sonic Ice. This is gonna get really messy. Here, we'll use this garbage can. Ah! Oh. Oh, -hoo -hoo. Tastes like my hand. That's pretty good.